So I just caught this awesome ridiculous video of these girls kicking a rat out of their apartment. I guess it's an apartment uh, by like creating creating a one single pathway the rat could travel and then scaring it and then like hitting it with brooms. Uh, kind of felt bad for the rat, but hey, you know, it's better than a mouse trap. Really, it's one lucky rat to not be in the mousetrap. I came across it on my newsfeed. I was like, yes, this is awesome. Check it out. You may have already seen that video. Apparently, apparently it was a big deal. Uh, but I, I just caught it. I think it happened today or yesterday. I'll show you how to relieve stress. First you gotta get in, in your stance. The fight stance. You may have learned this from Mortal Kombat. It goes like this. Fight! Ha! 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 Just in case you're worried, we won't sell you that pillow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real though, that will not affect your memory foam pillow. The memory foam is compressed in there. So it's been a good day so far. We've just been hanging out at the mattress store, messing around. Had some customers today. It's picked up a little bit, so that's good news. Um, changed our flags outside. I've had these flags just sitting in, a, in their packages for a few months. They're those flags that just fly outside of retail. I'll put a picture right here. Amanda, I don't talk about it much on, on the vlog, but Amanda walks like 20,000 steps every time we work at the mattress store. So that's like instead of instead of sitting around surfing the web and you can tap it to find out oh, how many steps I have so far. Whoa! But that's not all of them yet. I've been goofing off today. So that's an insane amount of steps. Amanda has over 17,000 steps, and she's like, I didn't do very good today so far. But you wouldn't believe how many keystrokes I have today. Earlier, Amanda was like, I think we might have those mystery pork chops tonight, and here's why they're mystery pork chops. Quite a while back, like a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, I bought I bought a lot of meat from this guy we call Sergio the Meat Man. Uh, Iowa steaks or whatever, Omaha, not Omaha, it was like the knockoff version. The knockoff version, it's like Iowa Steak Company. So I bought like a bulk of meat from him and stored it in our deep freeze. And so we still have some pork chops from that. And so we've been calling them the mystery pork chops. Everything that he sold us was vacuum sealed and flash frozen. So. We haven't had anything like go bad, or we haven't opened up anything that didn't seem fresh still, so. I mean, don't get me wrong, frozen meat is never as good as absolute fresh meat. There's never been any freezer burn or anything like that. It's all been pretty good. Amanda says they're mystery because she can never remember what flavor they're marinated with. We mixed up the boxes on accident. They're kind of old, and so it's a mystery to me whether or not dinner will be edible. So there's been this dog treat sitting on the table all day, and the dogs did not steal it. Check this out. You can have it now, Jazzy. Good doggy! <laughs> she didn't eat it. That's how good my dog is. I left treats for her on the table on purpose so she could have it. But I don't usually leave it on the table. I leave it on a bookshelf or on the TV stand. But because it was on the table, she didn't eat it because she knows she's not supposed to eat off the table. And my dog is a good dog. So ever since we got the second PlayStation, I've really been enjoying playing Grand Theft Auto with Amanda. So now instead of being like, hey, you wanna watch a TV show? I'm like, hey, you wanna go steal some cars? <laughs> it sounds bad coming out of my mouth. It sounds bad to explain that, but in other news, my gig on Saturday got canceled. I'm not exactly sure why yet. So I'm gonna have Saturday night off, and I don't know when you'll be watching this or when I'll post this, um, but it's Friday night, so that's tomorrow night. And it's funny, I, I'm kinda like, I'm kinda bummed because obviously I wanna play music, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, all right, I gotta wake up early tomorrow, and I can come home from work and chill out. I'm expecting starting this weekend for the mattress store to ramp up because people are going to begin to get their tax returns, and that's our biggest time of the year. And Amanda says, if you're local and you're watching this, to come see us or tell your friends and your family, come see us at the mattress store and we'll hook you up. If you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel, I'll give you an extra 10% off. Well, it's been a while. We had a, like a vegetable and Italian sausage pasta for dinner. And then I opened a, like a cheap Bordeaux, like a 2014, which if you drink wine, you know that it's not really ready. 
they, they've got a lot of spice, you can taste the alcohol, um, and you can get kind of a sneak peek into what the wine's going to be like with age. Um, not bad, I like, I like all types of fermented grape juice. So yeah, we're still hanging out, about to listen to music from Big Pink on vinyl. Um, it's a record I got from my dad. You can actually see his name on here, let me show you. That's a pretty cool thing that I'm, I'm glad to have. And A lot of guys that grew up in the 60s and 70s, um, at some point or another, you know, lost their record collection. So, I've got a pretty good collection of my parents' records, which I think is a really cool thing that I'll have all my life and uh, pass on to Madison eventually. So, really cool. I'm about to listen to music from Big Pink on vinyl. It's not every day I do that. I, I kind of save it and listen to it every once in a while. Now I'm just gonna hang out with Amanda and we're gonna chill. And I'm, I'm, gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night right now. So it was a good day. Today was my first day back at work, like after my weekend. My weekend is Wednesday and Thursday. Today was Friday, so Friday is my Monday. A good start for my work week and a good beginning for the weekend for me. So anyway, hope you're having a good weekend. I'm Bird Snake. thanks for watching. Fight. That's how we make sure your pillows are really soft when they get home. <laughs>